is one of the oldest and biggest churches in all of Hanoi. Look at the architecture. That's beautiful. Dad and I are currently at the place where Obama and Anthony Bourdain ate at in the Hanoi series. Look at that. Combo Obama, which is basically everything he got. Which is the beer, the boom cha, and that. One thing I've noticed so far is Hanoi has great cafes. So there's a cafe on like every corner that just looks super beautiful. The architecture is like an old French style and they're keeping it old on purpose. I think it looks very beautiful. And if you know me, you know I hate the rain, but today actually like the rain, it's making it look very scenic. It matches the vibe of Hanoi very well. So I actually really like the, I'm enjoying the rain and the rainy weather so far. Whole day in Hanoi. We got one more night here before we head back to Saigon in the morning at 7 a.m. We're gonna head out to the airport and fly out. And I still need to book my apartment because I'll spend the rest of my Vietnam trip in Saigon. So I'm just gonna book an apartment. I finally get to relax a little bit. <laughs> this entire trip so far, the last week, I've just been on the move. New city, new place to sleep uh, every single night. And so finally, I'll just get to relax a little bit. And for dinner, we got min dung with eel noodles. All right, y'all, out of everything, this is the very first thing in all of Vietnam. I just couldn't do it. The eel taste, the flavor, I just couldn't do it. It had such a strong fishy eel flavor that just overpowered everything for me. It's the first dish that I just could not eat. I ate three bites and I was just like, I just can't continue. After eight days, I lost. So we stopped by this little cafe on the very top here. I, don't know, I just thought it might be a nice view and we gotta get some cool drinks. All right, as you can tell, we are at the airport once again. Finished our trip in Hanoi, two nights, one day pretty much. Uh, and now we're heading back to Ho Chi Minh City, AKA Saigon, uh, to spend the rest of the trip. And I already booked my Airbnb. Breakfast, we got gum tam. Hi, Dung. Alright, we just got out of my uncle's house. Now I checked into my apartment. It's beautiful. It's at Land, uh, Landmark 81, which is the tallest building in all of Ho Chi Minh City. Let me show you all around. So we got our bathroom, little couch area. What up? Washer and dryer. We got the kitchen, all the stuff I need to cook, a little island um, for my guests who come over to my apartment. And this is the room right here. There's one queen size, there's my dad. And we got a little balcony overlooking the city. I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful at night. So downstairs is the mall of Landmark 81. And one of my cousins is down there right now. So we're gonna go meet up with him. So on the other side is the mall, but that is where we're staying, Landmark 81, the tallest building. There's actually a restaurant all the way at the top, which you could go to. Right around the corner is Vincom Center, which is the mall. go ice skating i gotta try it out one of these days with my cousin not today though i'm a fall and i need my cousins to support me stopping by one of the most famous places in the middle of saigon job and tan they sell a bunch of stuff this is where you haggle for clothes for food for bags all kinds of accessories good place to buy a souvenir though so my dad's looking at all the fake for car stuff but it is a jungle in here. You want? You need belts, you need shirts, you need paintings, you need like accessories. There's a food court all the way over there. Sunglasses, what you need? Luggage, bags, you need some Balenciaga. Shoes, 
Looks like we're heading over to the jewelry section. It is hectic in here, it's six o'clock. Look, this is where they sell like the, the teas. We got like little accessories, bowls. So my dad just bought a wallet. We bought this for Jaden. The, the lady said 800,000. And then my dad somehow haggled her his way down to 300,000. And he sold, he got it for 300,000 all the way from 800,000. Remember, tip, you always gotta haggle here. Always, always, always. Nine o'clock at night, we're rocking around with Bum and two of his friends. I think we should go bar hopping. We might go to a club in a bit. I don't know, but you can probably tell it's super loud. And this is this whole area is like for food and drinks. I don't know if you know if you can hear me. All clubs last all the way until the morning. It doesn't close. bottles of soju so i'm slightly tipsy i'm not drunk yet though look it's midnight y'all but people are still out eating the night is young this is a nightlife town like it doesn't die around here like 12 o'clock is early right now right now we just got back and I still can barely hear to be honest uh, my ears are still like ringing from the sound last night but it was a great time we're at a very famous deal place we're having me and my dad got the dried ones they got the wet kind with the broth but we got the broth on the side oh man it's great so my apartment has its own gym and swimming pool area so I'm gonna go out and check out the gym. See, hopefully it's sort of nice because this is a nice place. It's not too bad. A little gym in here. Um, hold up. And then down here we got the pool. Always, even on vacation. So after the gym, I took the elevator down to the mall. I'm gonna go to the grocery market or the supermarket up here. Get some uh, drinks and some protein. And I'll show you how you get back up to my room in a bit. But it's just so convenient living here. Wandering the grocery store, trying to find a protein drink. This section of the market has like a little Korean corner where they sell like dopeoki and fish cakes and stuff and prepackaged stuff, which is dope. But I'm still on the lookout for this protein. It's gotta be here somewhere. All right, I literally looked all over. I just got a zero sugar monster and some kimbap for two bucks. I asked everyone, they said they didn't have it. How do you not have protein powder or protein drinks? Anyways, let's go back up to the first floor and I'll show you how to get back to the room. Go upstairs, instead of going outside, we go towards the elevator over there. We take the elevator up to the fifth floor of the mall, which is the Korean barbecue restaurant. And that's where the gym is. And you, we can take the other elevator around to go to the pool. Oh, actually, I haven't checked out the pool. Let's go check out the pool. So you take my uh, my landmark card, put it right there, and then swimming pool pops up. And it tells you which elevator to go to. Nice, it's not bad. A little section for the kids. All right, now we are at this church, which is beautiful, by the way. This pink church for the 5:30 mass. 
Uh, I haven't been to church in a long time. Last time, I'll go once a year for Christmas. <laughs> so we're at this little stand. Apparently super famous. Uh, my dad says the best about me in all of Saigon. We'll see if that's true. So big. Oh my god. Bánh mì gì? Bánh mì Quỳnh Hoa. Quỳnh Hoa. Different type of meat, huh? Different type of meat. All kind of things. Oh, you're about to go. Two bánh mì for $5 for total. So two, about two fifty a piece. Like that. Cilantro, cucumber. Oh. Now we're just gonna head over to Jabatan over there. I don't know who these Korean girls are. They're probably YouTubers, but they have a whole camera crew around them. While in Jobantan, we stopped by to get some... Manbao way. Some manbao, apparently uh, way style. Let's try it. Mm. All right, y'all. I've been shopping. In this little downtown area, they got a bunch of different stores. I bought so a little something from basically every store. I think I bought a little too much, but not bad prices at all. Great stuff. The new playground under there. I think I might have bought a little bit too much. I think I spent like total maybe 200 for all of these. Hopefully, I can bring it back. It's kind of heavy. My dad went over to uh, Juven's house, which is uh, my uncle from the very first day we stayed here. Me and Bum, yuck. Uh, my cousin. We're just gonna go out, maybe eat, maybe drink a little bit. So at this place, Ban I actually have no idea what Ban is. I guess I'm about to find out. But you know, hella dishes, hella sauces. I guess we're like making it ourselves. Very interesting though. So they bring this little plate. It's the Ban So that's the Ban And I'm guessing you make it. Oh, look at that. I can't believe I've never heard of this before, but the whole experience, everything, really good. Alright, finished. It was incredible. I can't believe I've never had this before. Alright, we moved to, after eating, we're going at OTK, which is flowers and food street. So there's two streets. One street is all just flowers and flower shops where people sell flowers. And the other street is all street food. But this is basically just a night market like what you saw in Wook. Ooh, that looks great. Street food, clams, whole street. Different types of street food. So chicken feet, looks like it's a, uh, I think that's octopus. Busy street food places. We got some abalone and some oysters cooked in egg. Oysters cooked in quail eggs. So today is Wednesday, February 15th. My dad and me, we went over to uh, my uncle's house. We're gonna have like a last get together party with the family and eat a little bit there. My dad, they're back at the house cooking though. I don't know what they got planned cooking for the little party tonight, but I'm sure it'll be delicious. Getting everything prepared. There's rabbit, chicken, they're not chicken, sorry. Duck, baguettes, soy. Uh, this, I have no idea what this is, but I'm eating it anyways. Rabbit, noodles, ragu. This, that's the meat, right? which is, tastes amazing. Soy, baguettes. So today's Thursday. I'm currently waiting in the lobby because I only booked that room for like five or six days. And I'm going to a different room. This is the one that I originally wanted, but I've been waiting in this lobby for two hours. So it should be coming down any minute now. And hopefully we'll get our new room all the way until Monday. And that's when I'll be going to Indonesia. All right, we checked into our new room. This is how it looks, bathroom. Got my little couch section. 
kitchen. We got a dining table this time. Love the yellow lights right here. I'm sure it looks awesome at night. Uh, the bed. And then we're on the, the last time we were on the 15th floor, this is the 37th floor. And there's some turf as well. So 60 bucks a night, can't complain about that. The one food I haven't ate yet, well, there's a lot of foods I haven't ate, but the one food I wanted that I haven't ate yet was Munsale. And we went to this specialty Munsale place and it looks amazing. So the beef, shrimp. And apparently this is like a different style where you wrap it in the rice paper like that. Oh man, that looks great. Boom. And then we gotta fold it up like a joint. Fold, dip, eat. I'm at a hair salon right now, about to get my hair color changed. And then I'm also gonna get a haircut as well before I leave to Indonesia. I look crazy. I look like I'm bald. I didn't realize how round my head was. Jesus. So we got a bleach. Now we're just dying it. I've been here for almost three hours. Got my hair color changed. And now just gonna style it. Shout out my man right here is taking care of me. So I just finished. This is the final result, final color. I think it looks great. This is exactly what I was going for. Haircut as well as goido, which is perfect experience. I gave them a big tip because everyone in there was just so lovely. Now we're gonna go eat some Korean barbecue with uh with bum. So buffet, all the meat included, you can order you can get literally whatever you want. I'm gonna show y'all later what's in the buffet. All of this 350,000, which is about 15, 16 bucks or so. Like you, you can't even dream of that in California right now. That's just insane. Oh man. This is, I mean, for 15 bucks per person, you can't go wrong. Oh, it was a great meal. You get to pick whichever ice cream you want over there. I got ube or taro, I don't, either one of those, and vanilla. Today is Saturday the 18th. We're getting a quick workout in in the morning. I got two days left here in Vietnam before I head out to Indonesia. Honestly, three weeks here total. I wish I could have been here. Like, another three weeks that's how much like honestly i could envision myself living here because it's just so inexpensive so we're going down like this walking street where there's just tons of cafes and like restaurants little tiny restaurants just lined up they were telling me like more younger people go here to just chill out relax a little bit quieter let me show y'all so this whole street so that's the main street back there and then if you go down here it's just the entire street is just like little cafes and stuff, which is pretty cool. Of course, even though I'm in the middle of this random street, there's a freaking Rolls Royce here. Of course there is. Garden area. Very fun. I only have one day left tomorrow, which is Sunday in Vietnam. So we're just going out with a bang, having a great time. I'm not drunk yet. I'm just hot and sweaty. And I, I've had like at least 10 shots, but I've sobered up now. So I'm not drunk. All right, we're currently at the airport, 8 a.m. in the morning. My time in Vietnam is over. And on to our next country, which is gonna be Indonesia. We're gonna stay in Jakarta for a week. And then after a week, we're gonna head over to Bali. It's been fun. It's been great, Vietnam. Vietnam, you've been, it's amazing to me. And then we got about three and a half hour flight to Jakarta where my friend, or two of my friends, Dena and Dita, are gonna go pick me up. By the time I get there, it'll probably be around 2 p.m. Uh, three hours later, here I am. I've landed in Jakarta. Eternity later. All right, I got off the plane at 1.30. It is now four o'clock. Line for the visa and for the literally just everything was such a long process it took me almost three hours to get out of the, the visa and the customs line oh, but finally we made it let's go see where everyone is we'll probably get some food